This is Federico Perez Trisante. Mr. Perez is a teacher, freelance musician, and graduate student at Montclair State University. Mr. Perez has been teaching concert band, modern band, and legacy of popular music at prep for the past two years and has played with numerous bands in his career as a musician. To start things off, how many instruments do you play and which one of them would you say is your favorite? I play my primary instruments are trombone um, and low brass instruments like bass trombone, tuba, euphonium. Those are my instruments that I perform on professionally along with guitar and drums behind me. Um, I also play a little bit of trumpet, play a little bit of flute, and um, also do percussion, things like percussion, like uh, Latin percussion. When did music first catch your interest, and what artists would you say inspired you? I started playing drums when I was three years old. And actually, my first drum my grandfather made for me out of a paint can, and he put a piece of hide on it to make it into a drum. Uh, my biggest inspiration coming up would be my uncle, because he's a professional drummer. And on that whole side of my family, my grandfather was also a band leader, very famous in Uruguay, where I'm from. So I would say my biggest influence from the young age was my uncle. Would you consider yourself a musician who teaches or a teacher who makes music? I would say I'm definitely a musician who teaches um, because for me, music is a part of every fiber of my being in my life. And it's in everything that I do. And for me, my biggest experience and my the most fun that I have is when I'm making music and when people are dancing to the music that I make, there is no greater feeling. And I try to bring that to my students that I teach to try to give them some, a little bit of a hint of what that's like. So I try to incorporate my own personal life in my teaching. And as a teacher, I kind of try to show a window of what's out there. I think students in general have a very narrow scope of what's out there musically. And with the class that I teach, especially to high school students, I try to show them what the window's like and what's on the other side of that window. And it's up to them to explore and go beyond that. You've mentioned to some of your students that you have a band that you perform with on the weekends. Tell us some more about that band. Well, my own personal group is uh, Brass Quintet. They're called Bergen Brass. We're actually, we took a little bit of hiatus when I was in college. Um, and now we're coming back and we're actually starting a performance th on the 22nd of this month where I'm having a recital and it's going to be featuring the group. And I also play with a lot of different groups. Uh, my f I do mostly freelance, so I play with all kinds of different bands on the weekends. What kind of music does your band make? Um, my personal group, we make all kinds of music. We do classical, jazz, Latin, rock. Uh, we cover all genres of music. It's a little unique because of the instrumentation and being brass instruments. Um, on the freelance side, I play everything that's put in front of me, basically. Um, and I've toured playing in Balkan groups, which is music from Albania and from that region of the, of the world. So I've toured parts of Europe with them. I play with a lot of salsa bands, a lot of Latin groups. I play in jazz bands. Tomorrow I'm playing with an orchestra. Tonight I'm playing with a rock band. So I cover everything. Would you say that being a music teacher inspires you? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think being a music teacher is, uh, for me, it's a mission. And it's important for me to work with students and try to give a little bit of that to them. And I think music for me, because it's such a big part of me, it's therapeutic and it's medicinal and I can't live without it. So I'm trying to show my students a little bit of that. What would you say has challenged you as a musician? What's challenged me as a musician, I think it's the same thing that's challenged a lot of students that are coming up, is getting past what you can do on the instrument. Um, to the point that like, I'm beyond that, 
And it seems like uh, this giant mountain climbing, trying to learn an instrument, trying to get good at it, and trying to figure out things out. And you think that's like this giant mountain. But the reality is that's just the bottom of the mountain. The top of the mountain, the huge climb, is what happens on your, in your mind and the psychological part of it. So uh, being prepared for a, a, mus a show, making sure you're rested, making sure that you know, you're hydrated, all those things. Uh, that's really, really important. And for me, as a freelance musician, a lot of the work that I do is I play concerts, and it's sometimes with the first time that I'm meeting the group. So I'm literally playing the concert, never rehearsing with somebody. So being mentally focused and ready to go is a big, big challenge. This is Julian Carrera reporting for Prep TV News.